Kanye West. Are we friends? Are we not friends? We spent four days out here. Daisy, I know you got killers. Please don't send them out my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. I'm not saying I'm innocent. I'm sure there's things where he felt like I crossed the line. Nothing about the wedding. Did they not come because Beyonce has a problem with Kim? I'm not sure. Do you feel like his wife in Paris with robbery and you didn't go to his wedding? Yeah, like, that's what I said. Take those feelings like yeah. against you, but you weren't supportive of his family yes. structure. This ain't the place for the conversation. No, no, I got you. Beyonce dropped a new album. The lyrics are about her own marriage and the suggestion of an affair. I'm not a perfect human being by no stretch. I was hurt. Feelings matter, bro. I don't know who I can trust. Mm -hmm. I don't trust nobody. And James is big brother. His big brother. There's certain things that happen that's not really acceptable in turn. Kanye's pissing everybody off. Kanye's making so much Whatever perception you have of me. Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Kanye's infamous moment left the world wondering why he chose to ruin Taylor's night. But there were deeper motives behind his decision to speak up for Beyonce. Kanye came into this business on my label. So I've always been like his big brother. Jay-Z always carried guilt over what he did to his brother Eric when they were kids. When Jay-Z was 12 years old, he shot his crack addicted older brother Eric in the shoulder for stealing. But one of his sisters would later state that he had done what he did because he wanted his family to feel like he was protecting. He thought that he was going to jail forever and that his life was over. Though he avoided jail, Jay-Z locked away his emotions. I needed certain tools to survive my area. I'm here because I grew up a different way and I got out of that. And when he discovered a young musical genius, Jay-Z had a second chance to be a good brother. Rap is about the gift of discovery. Like he interrupted our studio session and stood on the table and started rapping. And we were like, could you please get down? No, he was uh, like, no, I am the savior of Chicago. <laughs> you didn't even have a record. So I'm playing Beanie some beats and he gets to smile. Yeah. And like, yo, man, you a soulful dude. This is like the moment of truth for me right here. My little brother is Kanye. Though Jay-Z grew up in the projects and Kanye came from the suburbs, they instantly bonded. And we both love and respect each other. And when Kanye's mother died, big brother Jay-Z helped him through his grief. The talented musician broke down in tears during his performance. But underneath all of the brotherly love, a tension was growing between them. I've always been like his big brother. It's always been like a little underlying competition there. Tensions only grew when Kanye pulled Jay-Z and his wife Beyonce into a public scandal. Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I knew his intentions and, and told me before you have this award. And they didn't call my name. He was like completely shocked. And when he walked on the stage, I'm like, no, no please no, don't. No. And behind closed doors, Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage was tested. The world didn't know that you'd had a miscarriage. It was one of the hardest things I've been through. I was hiding. You can be inside your body and be happy, but at the core of it, something else is going on. Unable to cope, Jay-Z poured himself into a collaboration with Kanye. But despite their best efforts to remain friendly, the tension between them escalated again. We had this whole plan with me and Kanye that we would go right into our solos after that. We spent four days arguing. The problem is when you engage that energy, if you engage the ego with your ego, now something has to happen. When Jay-Z and Beyonce had their daughter, he made his family his first priority. And soon, Kanye's very public relationship with reality TV star Kim Kardashian only pushed Jay-Z further away. Nothing about the wedding. Did they not come because Beyonce has a problem with Kim? I'm not sure, but I was hurt about them not coming to the wedding. I understand they was going through some things, but if it's family, you know, you're not going to miss a wedding. But once again, Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship was pushed to the brink of destruction. Beyonce dropped a new album. The lyrics are about her own marriage, suggestion of an affair. And one terrifying night sent Kanye over the edge. Kim Kardashian's there, she's screaming. Kim was begging for her life. Did you realize how the robbery in Paris affected Kanye and how much anxiety he had after? Not really. Jay-Z, call me, bro. You still ain't called me. Beyonce, I was hurt. Daisy, I know you got killers. Please don't send them out my head. Just call me. 
Kanye West was hospitalized. When you're bipolar, you have a potential to ramp up and it could take you to a point where you start acting erratic. But Jay-Z had to focus on his marriage or he'd lose everything. Desperate to make amends with Beyonce, Jay-Z entered into therapy. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you cause and then have to deal with yourself. What was that like being in therapy? I grew so much from the experience. The most important thing I got is that everything is connected. Mm -hmm. Every emotion is connected and it comes from somewhere. And in that moment, Jay-Z was brought back to when he shot his brother. When Jay-Z visited Eric in the hospital, it was Eric who apologized to him for his drug addiction, forgiving Jay-Z for shooting him. For the first time in his life, Jay-Z understood what true compassion was, and in doing so, was able to extend compassion towards his little brother, Kanye. Um, where you and Jay at now? We good. We texting each other this positive energy. I hate Kanye the other day, just tell him that he's my brother. I love Kanye. He's a very compassionate person. Diddy's 50th birthday party was this past weekend, but you know whose attendance really stole the show? None other than Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye West. Taking ownership of his mistakes allowed Jay-Z to heal his family, and in turn, Beyonce showed compassion towards Jay-Z. Any relationship, you go through issues and you have to learn each other and you, you grow and you have painful moments. You have to acknowledge the pain, but you have to really work through it and really be honest and it takes a while, it's hard. There's nothing like family. These are the people who make you who you are. They've helped you grow. They're responsible for the countless lessons in life that you've learned. Jay-Z's story shows us that having compassion for ourselves is the first step to having compassion for others. And when we do that, we can build a more loving world. The most important thing out of all this is to teach compassion and to identify with everyone's struggle. I can express love, but I can't put it in your hand. I can't put compassion in your hand. I can't show you that. So the most beautiful things are things that are invisible.